Are you an avid Photoshop user who's encountered the frustrating error message scratch disks are full? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to solve this common issue and get you back to creating amazing digital masterpieces in no time. First, let's understand what the scratch disks are full error means. Photoshop uses scratch disks as temporary storage spaces when your system's RAM is insufficient to handle large files or complex editing tasks. When these scratch disks get filled up, Photoshop throws this error message, causing frustration and disruption to your creative process. Now, let's jump into the solutions. We'll cover a range of methods to help you resolve the scratch disks are full error in Photoshop. First, check that there is enough space available on the drive set up as the Photoshop scratch disk. By default, Photoshop assigns the scratch disk to the C drive. I there is no more space, make some space by delete unwanted files. To do this, open settings. You can do this by clicking on the start button in the taskbar, then selecting the settings icon. Once you're in the Windows 11 settings, navigate to the system category. From there, click on storage in the left hand menu to access the storage settings. Now that you're in the storage settings, scroll down until you find the temporary file section. Click on it to expand the options. In this section, you'll see a list of temporary file categories. Choose the categories you want to remove temporary files from by checking the respective boxes. Once you've selected the desired categories, click on the Remove Files button. Windows 11 will begin the process of deleting the temporary files associated with the selected categories. If you know of any other unnecessary files, delete it as well. Check if the error is fixed. You can also solve using the next method, click on edit and then select preferences from the drop down menu. A new window will appear with various preferences options. In the preferences window, locate and click on the scratch disks option. This will open the scratch disk preferences where you can customize the settings. In the scratch disk preferences, you'll see a list of available drives. By default, Photoshop selects the C drive as the primary scratch disk. To change this, simply click on a drive to select or deselect it as a scratch disk. You can choose multiple drives if you have sufficient space. Once you've made your desired changes, click on the OK button to apply the new scratch disk settings. Close Photoshop and reopen it. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Photoshop tutorials, troubleshooting tips, and creative inspiration. Thanks for watching.